Hey guys, with Thanksgiving coming up, I wanted to show you how to make some pie dough, pie crust. Um, this is the dough that I use for my galettes or galettes, however you like to say it. Um, I have a caramel apple galette on my blog and it is fantastic and it is a great way to make a pie without actually making a pie. So if you didn't know, a gelette is an open-faced um, pie basically. So you don't have to do the pie crust on top, you just have it at the bottom and it kind of folds in and you have the filling or topping right in the center. So it's way easier to eat, I feel, and easier to make and it's less fuss and it's so good. So I'm gonna be showing you how to make the crust or the dough for that and it is super simple. Some people are always intimidated by pie dough, pie crust, but it's so simple, I promise you. Um, and this will make about a nine inch uh, gelette. And if you were to make a pie, you'd probably have to double this recipe because you'd need a bottom and a top. Um, and with gelettes, you just need a bottom basically. So what I'm going to be doing is adding my, this is all you need first of all, you need one and a half cups of all purpose flour, you need one tablespoon of sugar, and by the way I did add a sprinkle of salt to my flour. You're going to need one stick of cold butter, this is about 113 grams, which is eight tablespoons. You need to make sure it's cold. I took this straight out of the fridge, you can see that it's still cold. And what we're going to do is actually cut this into really small pieces and we're gonna incorporate it into the dough. The cold butter is what gives the nice flakiness and that buttery texture that you love in a pie crust. So we are gonna have that nice and cold and we'll chop it up in just a little bit. And then in here I have five tablespoons of cold water and as you see, you know, there's a trend, you want your ingredients to be cold, the butter cold and the water cold, five tablespoons. We may need a little bit more, but that's what we're gonna start with. Okay, so I'm just gonna open up my butter and you're gonna need a food processor to kind of bring this all together. So I'm just opening up my butter here. And you wanna grab a nice knife, sharp knife, and you just want to make about one inch cuts of butter and work fast because the heat from your hand will start to soften the butter. Okay, that's pretty good right there. Okay, now first thing we're going to do in the food processor, we're going to add the flour and the sugar. And I'm just gonna give this a quick pulse. That's it. Just want it to kind of be all well incorporated together. Let's set this bowl aside. Now what I'm gonna start doing is adding in, I just wanna show you the, I just wanted it mixed together just like that. Um, literally two, three pulses and it's good to go. Now I'm gonna put back the cover and what I'm gonna do is I am going to, in here, start adding in my butter as I pulse. So I'm gonna add about two or three at a time you put butter you just want to add you just want to pulse it two or three times and you're doing this in increments and at the end after we add all this butter it's it's not gonna come together so don't be alarmed if the dough is not coming together um, you are still going to need to add some water and 
you'll still it'll still look like maybe it's not coming together but once we shape it with our hands from the warmth of our hand it's all gonna come together in a nice shape of a ball or a disc okay here's the last of the butter all right let's see what it's looking like it should look like cornmeal with a few chunks of butter in there and let me show you you can see that there are chunks of butter in there right there okay cool perfect so now what i'm gonna do so you see how it's chunkier than before that's all the butter chunks that we just pulsed in there and it's kind of all well incorporated into the dough now now we're going to add a tablespoon of cold water at a time to kind of bring this together just a little bit okay so i'm gonna add and i'm gonna pulse as i go i'm gonna add a tablespoon two tablespoons So it's five tablespoons of cold water. And when you look at it, it doesn't look like a dough, right? But what we're gonna do, once you start, I just wanna show you. It doesn't look like it's gonna come together, it just looks like fine crumbs. But once you get your hands in there, look at that. And you start kind of bringing it all together, you could see that it's gonna come out into a nice buttery, I could actually see the butter in there. A nice buttery flaky crust. It smells so good too. <laughs> it smells just like butter. Okay, so that's literally what we're gonna do now. I'm just gonna form this into a flat disc. I just wanted to show you that yes, it might look like crumbs right now and you might feel like you did something wrong or you need so much more water. But look, all I did was grab a little bit use my hands and then it comes together. So that's what we're gonna do this mixture and we're gonna shape it into a disc. And I'll show you in just a minute. Okay, so you could see now we have a beautiful pie dough. And if you look really closely, you could see the speckles of butter in there which is exactly what you want because that butter is what's going to add that flakiness and that really, really delicious buttery texture that we love and flavor that we love in a pie. So once you have it shaped like a disc, it's like a thick disc, I would say, I wouldn't shape it like a ball, which would be tighter because in the end, what you're gonna end up doing is rolling it out. So it's easier when it's already shaped in a disc. So you just want to shape it into a thick disc, just like this. And then over here, you could see that I have some plastic wrap. So you're just going to put it in the center of the plastic wrap. And we are just going to cover up this dough because it still needs to chill even more. You want the dough to be chilled before you roll it out and use it for your gillette so once this goes in the fridge and it chills for about an hour you would take it out and you'd actually use plastic wrap to go over it so it doesn't stick to the rolling pin and you would just shape it into a gillette um, which is going to be around nine inches and then you would put whatever filling or topping you would like. You kind of crimp the outskirts onto the filling and then you bake it. So this is just a really easy way to make dough. I just wanted to show you so you could use it however you please. Um, pie crust could really be versatile. I love to use it in Gillette's. Some people love to use them for pies, um, but yeah. 
I just wanted to show you guys this right before the holidays. And if you guys are interested, I'm actually gonna be working on a pecan Gillette that I am recipe developing um, with this dough. And it should be up on my blog before Thanksgiving. But if you guys wanna try it ahead of time, you could try my caramel apple Gillette. It is so delicious. And it's also perfect for the holidays as well. Like who does not love caramel and apple? So you could ditch that apple pie and try this instead. And I promise you it's so much easier and it's prettier because with a Gillette, you get to see all the fillings from the top. So it just looks, you know, very appealing. With a pie, you have to cut into it and then you see um, the filling. But, you know, with a Gillette, everything is kind of exposed. It's like an open face pie and you are just able to make it beautiful and it's delicious. And I hope you give this easy pie dough crust a try. If you do try to make this into a pie instead of a Gillette, remember you need to probably double this because this is just for the bottom. You're going to need a pie crust as well. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's quick video. I wanted to just remind you that you could subscribe to my YouTube channel at Fufu's Kitchen and my Instagram page is at Fufu in the Kitchen. Facebook is Fufu's Kitchen as well. And I hope to see you guys again next week and happy holidays.